Hey guys, welcome back. The products are streaming in, so the reviews will be streaming out onto my channel. Today I've got a review for you. It's the ATSF 3751 from Broadway Limited. This is a 484 Northern steam locomotive. They've got other road numbers, but of course I got 3751 because it is a modern excursion steam locomotive that operates out of Southern California. Now, this is a second run of this locomotive. The first run had some key differences. The second run has synchronized uh, puffing smoke compared to the first run that did not. And the first run had QSI sound, where this second run is Paragon 2 sound. And in my opinion, the second run has better sound. Now, in full disclosure, I want you guys to always trust my reviews wholeheartedly and take it to the bank. So I will tell you, I have encountered issues with this locomotive. There are some problems, and I'll explain them to you during the review. And also, I've talked to a network of friends and peers in the model railroading community that have purchased this locomotive and have had problems as well. So there's two things I'll suggest to you right off the bat. When you get your locomotive, immediately run it through all the tests. The sound, the running up of the speed steps, running down the speed steps, forward, backward, headlight, everything you can think of to make sure your locomotive's working properly. Another thing I'll suggest is to go with Broadway Limited's two-year warranty plan. It's pretty simple. There's a little card inside the box. I don't have it because I took it upstairs, but it's inside the box and it tells you to go to a website. If you put in all your information on the website, keep your receipt with you in the box or in a file somewhere. They'll extend the one-year warranty into a two-year warranty if you register on their website with the information. So it's a great deal because it's basically uh, bumper to bumper or in the steam locomotives case or cow catcher to the coupler warranty on these locomotives so Broadway Limited does offer a good warranty but some of these locomotives are experiencing problems so with that said let's take a closer look at this Broadway Limited ATSF 3751 it is a 484 Northern locomotive and check the details so as I mentioned before there is some technical difficulties I've experienced with this locomotive. I was able to program the road number in, no problem, but there are two issues that you should know about that I experienced with this locomotive. One is the weirdest thing that took a long time to figure out is that when I hit the bell, which is F1, I couldn't get the locomotive to respond to anything. The bell would not go on and I could not get it to respond to anything. But I figured out the quirk. You have to turn the headlight on which is F0 obviously and then once the headlights on A, it's, the sound started up because I moved it not because I turned the headlight on but I just muted the sound here but you turn the headlight on and then you can get everything to function with the bell uh, which is F1 now if you don't turn the headlight on the F1 will not work but the horn will continue to work or the whistle in a steam locomotive's case and the thing still moves but as soon as you hit that F1 button it doesn't work now just to see if that was something that was quirky with Broadway Limited I took my 611 which was a recent release put it on the track to see if that did the same thing and it didn't so I'm pretty sure there's a decoder problem and I'll probably send it in for repair I would normally send it back but these 3751's are sold out nationwide I'm told by Broadway Limited so You'll have to find a hobby shop somewhere with these if you haven't already pre-ordered them because they're supposedly sold out nationwide. Just this road number, which is 3751. All right, so let's look at some of the details before I turn the sound on and the smoke and all that jazz. The, we'll start up at the front here and work our way back. The first thing I want you to notice is it has a nice little metallic bell here, as you can see right here. The headlight does have a slight blue tint, but not nearly as bad as the previous Broadway Limited locomotives, specifically the GS4 with that really blue Smurfs rear end type blue headlight. So it's a good thing that they're getting more towards the white, but there is still a slight blue hint, and I'll try to show you that a little later. You've got a coupler on the front here. Uh, so they put a coupler on the front and back, where some locomotives they make you install a coupler on the front. There is a coupler there. They've got a couple different smokestack covers, which I'll show you in a minute when I go over the box. They've got the flying number boards here for 3751. A lot of nice detail in here on the locomotive. And as I move it up 
you can work your way back to some of the detail nice black and metal wheels here they've got really nice details on all the function parts of the uh, wheels so they've got nice details there really good job you can see the lines running to the cab here the nice sunshade and there are cab figures installed move this up more so you can see the cab figures there they've got roof vents that open up open and close no problem well, a little problem but <laughs> end up lifting the locomotive up off the track but those rent roof vents do open and close with minimal effort they've got some nice going back a little bit here they've got some nice brass at least metallic appearance I'm pretty sure the brass details on the whistle and the uh, I can't remember what the nomenclature is for this part here but you see it's got a nice metal appearance nice brass appearance and I was looking at some photographs of the prototype and everything matches except for the smokestack is black in the prototype and this has kind of a gray smokestack but it's hard to tell whether that was covered with soot or not so that's the only difference I really noticed coming here on the back side nice little details on the tender or the handrails where the people would walk around to fill the tender up do things with the tender and nice roof details on the top of the tender uh, the connection between this locomotive is wire and there's also a little draw bar that you hook up and there's two settings a distance setting which I have it here and a close setting the wire can be pulled way out or pushed way in to minimize the appearance as I've done here as much as possible working our way to the back of the tender as you can see another coupler here these are pretty sturdy couplers but they appear to be plastic couplers and 3751 printed on the back with a ladder and a reverse light that's pretty small but accurate to the prototype so those are the details of 3751 now let's go ahead and get the sound back on so you can hear and see some of the features and the sounds again if it's non-responsive you're going to want to hit the headlight and make sure that's on to get the bell and horn to work if you're having that problem Now we're going to go into the whistles, the different type of whistles. Okay, here are the three whistles. This is the whistle that comes factory standard. Now I'm going to switch to the whistle that's one of the other options. And here's the last whistle. So as you can see, the uh, whistles, there's three different whistles. You can choose which one's most like the prototype. I kind of lean in between one and three, but it's up to you. Let's take a quick look at the headlight and turn and the, the headlight off. slightly blue, but mostly white. Code 17 lighting. Now I want to show you the smoke, synchronized chuffing, puffing smoke. This thing tends to get clogged a lot. You get a bubble, you blow down the stack, you're good to go. Once you get going, it's just a steady stream. And as you can see, nice smoke level. Really can smoke up the basement just on factory settings. A really good job by Broadway Limited on the smoke levels that they produce. I'm really pleased with that. We've heard the whistle, we've heard the bell, we've seen the smoke. Now let's cover some of the accessories that come with this steam locomotive. First of all, here's the box as I showed you earlier that it comes in. I usually try to do an unboxing, but with this case, in the interest of time, I'm just trying to run through. So you get the following accessories. A little funnel to put the smoke fluid in. The smoke fluid itself, Broadway Limited branded. This little hatch that goes on the back of the steam locomotive at the back of the cab. You get this strange little funnel. It goes on top. It's 
hard to see here. Basically it's a piece that goes on top of the chimney or another one that goes on top of the chimney that's kind of sideways so it shoots the smoke back. So you can put those on there I guess prototypical at some point. Extra traction tires and a piece to take off the wheels to put those traction tires on. For an MSRP of just under $400, $399.98 or $399.99, this is a pretty good deal, especially with the discounts out there from online retailers, brick and mortar hobby shops. I've seen prices as low as $299 shipped, which is pretty good for a steam locomotive with these features. The key is getting one that doesn't have any problems because there appears to be problems floating out there and I've had problems with this model myself during the review process like I mentioned about the quirkiness of having to have the headlight on to get the bell to work and crazy things like that. So be careful if you get this model to make sure to run everything through when you get it that everything works fine because the last thing you want to do is shelf it like some people do, they buy a model and never touch it and then two years goes by or a year goes by and now you're out of warranty and you're looking at big bucks to fix it. So make sure you run this through all the tests to make sure it works. Some things I didn't mention during the review are some of the cool features Broadway Limited locomotives have. Uh, the F14 through 17 range has some cool sounds, farm sounds if you have a farm layout, city sounds, lumber sounds, all kinds of stuff. Didn't really have time to address it but I do want to let you know about it. Another cool feature is the function 26 and function 27 buttons. You can record a sequence of running the locomotive, blowing the whistle, ringing the bell, and then when that sequence is done, you can play the sequence and it does everything automatically. So it's a pretty cool feature that's on a lot of Broadway lo locomotives, Broadway Limited locomotives. My AC6000 has it, the 611 has it. It's becoming pretty standard on these Broadway Limited locomotives and it's a cool feature to have. But I would also test that feature to make sure everything's working and I still have to test that feature on this locomotive. So with that said guys, it's up to you on whether you purchase this. I'm not going to say this is an absolute grand slam because of some of the issues they've had, but I want you guys to be informed and be aware of the situations that are floating around with this locomotive. Some people are getting them and they're completely unresponsive, so you need to take a look at this if you purchase this item. A good retailer to purchase this item is hogtrains.com. I noticed they had them for $299.98 shipped through eBay and right around the same price through their website. Those guys are good guys. They've dealt with them before on different things and they have a great customer service element so be sure to check them out if you get a chance. They've got a lot of these uh, 484 Northerns from Broadway Limited for good prices on their website. I will leave you guys with the run by of just the locomotive. Usually I like to hook up a nice consist that's accurate with what the locomotive usually pulls. But in the essence of time, I'll just be running the locomotive by on a scene of my layout so you can hear the sounds and see the sights of this locomotive as it passes by the camera. It'll save a couple minutes on the video and it'll let you see just the locomotive. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.